All right, welcome back, you guys, to Super Paper Mario. We are on Chapter 1-4, The Monster of the Ruins. My name is George. In the last one, we traversed the desert, uh, and, and we found the ruins. We're looking for a pure heart. We've got my friends Tippy and Thoro with us, and we took out um, Captain Chunks <laughs> in the last one. He was a big and brawny man, but I was brawnier. Mario, I can feel it calling. The pure heart is nearby. But wait, I sense something else emanating from the sand dunes. Be careful now, Mario. Something else is waiting for us ahead. All right, yeah, keep your pants on, m'lady. Um, let's go. Uh, Tippy, is she a girl? I, th I think we've confirmed that, right? <laughs> Do pixels have a gender? Do I need to be concerned? Are there any secrets? No, I guess not. <laughs> um, okay. Let's do it then. All right, we're in the dungeon. Can we find the pure heart here? Um, we got some beetles. That's fine. Uh, sir, excuse me. Oh, oh, you also told me I need to really practice this shake. Oh, there we go. Okay, so is it one shake? I'm like violently shaking. Like, um, uh, if you guys remember when the shake weight was a thing, we were supposed to like repetitively jerk off this tiny little uh, weight. Um, that's kind of what I was doing with my Wii Remote, but I think you just have to give it one solid good shake. Wow, platforming. Uh, can we get on board with this? All right, let's try one solid shake. Okay, there we go. I think I've got it down. Uh, is there anything over here, actually? No? Was this a complete waste of my fucking time? Fantastic. It makes me so happy. Um... It's just another day in the life of quarantine for me. I don't have too much, uh to talk about <laughs> today. I did have kind of a weird dream. Oh, jeez, this is gonna take a hot minute. Uh, oh, God. Okay, let's, nope, oh, okay. Hang on, let me focus. Oh my God, Mario, Mario, I'm hitting the jump button for the record. <laughs> Not to be that guy that's like, it's the controller's fault. Was there anything even up here? There fucking better be something up here after the trouble I went through. Um. All right, that takes care of him. Uh, okay, there is a treasure. God bless. Um, I had kind of a weird dream. And, oh, a life shroom. That's probably going to come in handy. In case I kill myself trying to platform. Now, I generally don't read too much into dreams. Uh, but I know some people are, like, really about that life. And they, like, keep dream journals. I honestly barely ever remember my dreams. Unless it's, like, a nightmare where I've accidentally killed somebody and I'm trying to dispose their body. <laughs> without getting caught and then when I wake up I like feel this overwhelming sense of relief this is locked right yeah we can't do anything um but this dream was just a wild fucking ride actually um what had ha ah uh, are you kidding me so what I was I guess like on a date with this guy you know <laughs> as as one would expect but it wasn't anybody I recognized it was a stranger and we were, like, in a garage. Like, like a standard suburban garage. Like, where you would park a vehicle. And this guy gave me a fish in a bowl. And he was like, the fish is dying. So I'm like, well, what can we do? Can we, can we save the fish? Can we make it not die? And he started running away from me. And at this moment, he was in a suit, which he, he def- I don't actually have a recollection of what he was wearing before, like when he gave me the fish, but it was not a suit. So he's running away from me in this suit, and I'm like, wait, where are you going? And, and I'm holding this fish, not knowing what to do with it. And he's like, I'm sorry, I've got to go save my timeshare. And that was also confusing to me, because like, well, I don't really know anything about timeshares, and I don't know why I would be dreaming about a timeshare. And it was all just very bizarre. And so then I look back at this fish, and the fish is no longer in a bowl. Instead, it's in this really tiny jar. And the fish basically takes up the entire jar, and it's looking real sickly. And I'm like, oh, God, we gotta, I gotta do something for this fish. And so I take it, um, basically, and, and I take it into my home, and I get a giant fish tank. And so I start to care for it, and I try to, like you know, use my aquarist knowledge, because I did work in an aquarium, to, like, filter the tank, get the water conditions right, the water chemistry just right, give it some extra food, um, give it some medicine, 
And then the fish, like, it gave birth? Um, and then there was a whole bunch of, there was a whole bunch of fish babies, and then the, the parent fish died, and then the, I was looking at the babies, and then I woke up, and it, it, it was all in all a very uneventful dream, but it was just kind of fucking weird, to be totally honest. I see what I have to do, I have to throw this guy, right? Something happened outside the room, alright, let's see what it was. Alright, thank you for the extra points! <laughs> um... So that is a thing that had happened. If any of you are dream people and you like to interpret dreams, have at that. Feel free to let me know uh, what the fuck it means. And if I should get a fish. <laughs> it's like, wait, I still don't have a key? What changed? Pardon, pardon the fuck out of me, friends. I just, I don't want to be in your way, actually. Um, oh, I see what changed. There's the key, okay. Uh, can I get inside? No. Can I throw? Fuck yeah, I can. <laughs> okay. Good. Let me scoot my toot right by these poops. And unlock the door, if I may be so kind. Um. And now where does this take us? I couldn't tell you, actually. Um, any secrets in here? No? Nothing? Tibby? Do you have anything to say? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh yeah, here we go. There's something there. I'll show it to you. Thanks, girl. You're the best around. Nothing's ever gonna bring you down. <laughs> Alright, another locked door right here. Um, what's over here? End of the wall. Any secrets? Oh! Wait a second, there absolutely a thousand percent is. What in the fuck is going on back here? All right, let's run for it, but not off the edge. Let's be a little bit careful. Um, and we got a treasure. Okay, I'll take it. What do we get? A buzzy beetle card. Oh yeah, you guys were talking to me about the cards. Uh, quite a lot, actually. In fact, uh, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, oh, here's the quick menu. Items, do I have any cards? I don't. All right, that's fine. Okay. Um, you said I could use cards and throw them at enemies to get things and maybe look at the cards. I'll, I'll figure that out in due time uh, when I get the chance. To oh, it's a little bit hard to actually see because I'm my I'm in the way. Ah! Took damage. Hey, one of you guys lied. You told me that uh, I, you don't take damage if you run out, but that you um, that you just flip back into 2D. You were simply not correct. <laughs> That's okay, though. I forgive you. Um, now, can I get this? Yeah, sure enough, actually. Look at me. I'm a puzzle-solving master. It's almost like I have a 25-year-old brain. <laughs> can I get the key, though? Yeah, sure. Okay. Um, I'm really not doing so hot on health, though, am I, actually? I should probably be a little bit more careful about that. Whoa! Is there anything this way? No, not really. Okay, that was a big old fucking waste of time. That's fine. Let's, uh... Oh, yikes. <laughs> the fire was right fucking there. Let's go in the door and see what more we can accomplish. Uh, spring. Where does she go? Oh! Okay. Um... Any secrets over here? Yeah, we got a ladder. Okay. Let's... Whoops. Whoops. Climb her. Uh, uh oh, it's kind of a long ladder, and oh, I am running low on health. Can I flip in here? I can't. Ah! Oh! Are you fucking kidding me? We're gonna fall all the way down the ladder? <laughs> Son of a fuck. <laughs> Alright. Come on, Mario. Mario, we gotta go fast. We gotta go fast like Sonic. Alright. Good. We good? I think we're good. Um, and then there was a switch, so let's hit her gently. Whoa, we got the big red button. Interesting. Oh. What? Oh my goodness. All right, let's run away from that, please and thanks. I hope this does something good. Oh. 
that'll work. Wow, this controller is really vibrating a lot. I didn't know Nintendo was in the market of selling sex toys, actually. Um, oh! Oh, this is our door. Oh, we can go in it. Perfect. No complaints on this end. Um... Alright. Um... Any secrets here? Oh! Dirt. Wow, Nintendo. They're really pushing this flipping thing, aren't they? Alright, two, three. Can I do it in time? I'm trying my absolute hardest! Okay. I'll take it. Oh, in other good news, um, next week... Uh, Daddy George is going to be presenting his research like a big boy to some of the higher-ups at my graduate program to see if they determine if I am qualified and smart enough. Oh, thank you, I needed that. Um, to, to get a graduate-level degree in, uh, genetics, genomics, and bioinformatics. Oh, alright, let's save twice. Because <laughs> once wasn't enough. So... Uh, that's something I'm gonna be doing in just a couple of days, actually. So I'm getting all of that together. Oh, we're outside. Um, any- Oh, there goes my pipe! So, I'm a little bit nervous, but also kind of excited. Wow, it's just empty out here, actually. So make sure you guys wish me luck, okay? I'm gonna do my absolute hardest. I'm really excited about the work we've been doing on the project. WARNING! Excuse me? Maybe I should pay a little attention to my surroundings. Oh, dude! What is this monstrosity? Oh, he looks cool as fuck, actually. Intrusion detected. Leave immediately or be purged. He seems kind of like a robot, right? Wait. Scan initialized. Red cap detected, blue overalls detected, level 5 mustache detected. Oh my boy, he's a level 5 hair monster, is he? Incredible possible subject identification, but it is impossible. Hold your position, searching databanks. <laughs> oh my god, it's the, it's the, um, isn't that like the Wii loading, the Wii shop loading thing or something? Search complete, one positive match. System overload, legendary hero identified. Forgive me, hero, I am called Fractal. My only purpose is to defend the pure heart from lawless intruders. You are late, I have waited thousands of years for your arrival. You may pass, the pure heart is just- Oh shit, we were authorized? Oh dude, this feels so cool. This is like- you know, I, I always feel so cool walking into my lab, <laughs> and this is probably the dorkiest thing about me, but I have like a little lab ID tech. I'm authorized, so I have access to this building that the general public doesn't. And we have a, our... Buffalo is not the best for public transportation, but we have like one kind of like subway system that runs... And it has a stop that's right at our medical school building. So, like, the general public that can take the subway, they can get off at our building. But then you have to, like, leave the building because they're common folk, peasants. They don't have access to the lab. But I am authorized. I can swipe my little key card and walk right in the doors. And it feels satisfying. <laughs> so, I love having the power of authorization. It makes me feel special. Um, aha, it won't be that easy. Uh, who's this, though? Who speaks? Yeah, my thoughts too, actually. Oh, this clown of a guy. So very nice to meet you and your mustache. I am Clown Blex, master of dimensions. I am the pleaser of crowds. I am Dementio. Remember the name well. I know you. You're that... Tippy, is this a friend of yours? It would be so very dull if your journey ended so easily. Instead, it ends with magic. Dirt! Hey, dude, that's my friend, actually. Can you not, please? Yes, much better. Now you and this robotic guardian can spend some quality time. Yes, quality snack time. When he snacks on you, for you are the snack. 
Ciao. What did he just? Yeah, what was that all about? Beep, I am error. Press any key to stop. Oh, I love that actually. Like if you get that reference. System not found, insert disk, disk not found, please confirm, disk is closed, red error, insert boot error, no response, system may be busy or melting into application error, save your work and quit, lost everything, way to go, genius, waiting for processors, 404 computer hamsters not found, threat level upgraded to jelly roll one, detonation Im imminent. <laughs> Holy shit, he's like Miss Old Bag all of a sudden. Um, that was actually a plethora of reference, I love that, but bleep! <laughs> Control, run query identification, control, ins uh, run insult generator, control results, go away, yeti lip, <laughs> control alt delete. <laughs> oh god, it's the blue screen of death, we've broken everything, he's got a virus. This is what this is what used to happen before you had iPhones and you would watch porn on like a regular computer. You would just ruin everything and then be like, oh my god, I hope my mother doesn't find out. <laughs> oh no, okay, so this is our boss actually. Well, what the fuck do I- Oh, can I tattle it? Wait, tattle. Can I- No, girl? Yeah, tell me about it. Well, that's Fractale, the robotic guardian of the pure heart. It's quite enormous. Ugh, words I hear often. Max HP is unknown. Attack is one. It can fly and swoop down with its big open mouth. But I think that antenna-like horn atop its head is its weak spot. Okay, noted. I think you're gonna need to use Thoro to hit it. Also noted. Really, this giant ass fucking dragon has an attack of one? That's kind of sad, actually. Um, oh, he's coming right at us. Can I get out of the fucking way, please? Can I use throw? No? Okay. Um. So, where's he go? What's. Oh! Oh my god, he's bigger than I thought he was. Holy shit, he's fucking massive, actually. Um. So. What do I do? It's gonna fly in from the right. I can sense it. You should flip back into 3D. Oh, okay. <laughs> Don't have to tell me. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay. Um. All right, he's here. Can I? Oh, jeez. Uh, can I, what can I? Do? Oh. Oh, are we riding? We're riding bare back. Oh, we're in the sky. Holy shit! This is like some Shadow of the Colossus type shit. Now, whoa. What are you actually? Um. Can I style hit them? Um, oh, oh wait, I know what to do. Go for the antenna, go for the, oh, go for the antenna, where, how far, oh, Jesus Christ. All right, forget these guys. Come on, come on, antenna, 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 please. Oh my God, he's so long, actually, it's a little bit hard. All right, antenna, there it is, can I hit it? Yeah, boy, can I hit it again? Let's try again. There we go! I'm so sorry, Fractale, I know I was- Oh, excuse me, I was using that actually, can we- Okay, whoa, 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 uh-oh, 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 all right, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Stay aboard- Ah! We fell. Could I have landed on his head? All right, we'll try that for next time, actually. <laughs> My execution was poor. Um... Man, this guy was actually a friend, he was gonna let me pass, I don't wanna kill him. This is like tech all over again. Alright, get out of the way. Let him do his little thing. And then, is he gonna come in from the... the left again? Or the right? Alright, yeah, he's up in the sky right now, that's fine. Alright, do, do your little fly, my guy. Everything's good, everything's chill. Alright, now let's flip! Uh, ch yeah, Tippy, I, I got it, okay? God! Alright, I'm not that pathetic. Always. Alright, to the antenna! Let's go! Oh, we're actually really close. Okay, think- excuse me, I need you. Thank you! Hit him right in the fucking skull, please. Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, another one, another one! Whoops, I missed. Alright, another one! There we go, okay. Stay focused, Mario. We gotta be real careful this time. We don't want to fall. Jump! Oh! Oh, I did it! No, I didn't. Oh, I fell. <laughs> I really thought I did something there. Oh, that's a farce. I thought I had him. I mean, I definitely didn't jump, but I thought I landed on his head. Fuck me. All right, that's fine. We'll just, you know, we'll just do this again. I got all fucking night. 
Um, if I know anything about Mario, though, I'm assuming the rule of three applies here. We've we've done it twice. I think if we do it one more time, we'll be we'll be in the clear. Perfectly. It's okay. I'm feeling good about this. I got that sunshine. The world is mine. I can't deny. I can be. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm feeling good. Oh, God. I need some more uh, Christina Grimmie in my life. Can I hit you one more? Oh, okay. Can we not throw it the wrong way, please? All right, good. One down. Good. Two down. Here we go. Here we go. Is this it? System crash. Fuck yeah, it is. Ah... I have malfunctioned, what have I done? Hero, hero, the error is mine, I am sorry. Shame, circuit, smoldering. Please, you must save our world. Oh no, he dies? I thought, I mean, using video game Nintendo logic, I thought it was just gonna be like, oh, we will fix him. Like, by beating the shit out of him, we'll somehow make him better. You know, like, kind of when your computer has the blue screen of death and you just give it a good hard smack on the top of the monitor to try and fix it? I felt like that's what we were doing. But I guess, true to life, when you beat the shit out of your, um, technology when it doesn't work, you actually just break it. That's fucking sad as hell! I don't feel very good about that at all. Ooh! This place looks nice, though. Is there anything here? Welcome, hero. My name is Merlum Mer Merlumina. <laughs> okay. It's kind of exotic, don't you think? Where are you at? There she is. Okay. I am a dormant soul. I've waited long to give you the pure heart. Yes. I've been waiting for 1,500 years. Well, you don't look a day over 1,200. Gotta say, you look beautiful. Your presence here must mean that all worlds have begun to collapse. Yeah, they have. In fact, that's why we're here. Tippy, Tippy, she just fucking said that. Girl, can, does... Is this Pixel's only job to restate everything that every other character says? Because she does it a fucking lot, and it gets <laughs> on my nerves more so than it should. I think I give Tippy too hard of a time, but... You know how, like, sometimes there's just people that annoy you? Tippy! Shut your fucking mouth. Unless you have something insightful to say. Before I give you the pure heart, you and I must speak... Listen well, hero. Long, long ago, my people built a civilization hailed as a beacon of culture. Sadly, despite our power, there was one thing we were powerless to stop. The Dark Prognosticus. Nobody knows who authored the Dark Book. It foretold the events of the future. On the last page, it was written that a chaotic power would devour the world. We knew it had to be stopped. Our greatest minds devised a grand plan to stop the tragedy before it happened. We needed something with the pure essence of love to confront this chaos. Researchers set to work and they created the Purity Heart. We divided the Purity Heart into eight pieces and hid them in different dimensions. Well, why the fuck would you do that? <laughs> why wouldn't you use it? We hid them for their own protection, waiting for the day the hero would arrive. Everything was going as planned, or so it seemed. But the wheels of destiny began to spin wildly out of control. It began with a very small incident. At that time, I was young and quite beautiful. It started the day I met two very fetching young men, actually. And you see, my life set sail toward a maelstrom of love. You see, I asked out, but... Well, however, it was like, well, one of them, you know, he just was really muscular, but the other one was so sweet, and basically, and well, so then I said, and, and he said, like, girl, I like you too, but uh, what about this other guy? And I was like, well, that man is Benjamin, and I don't know what to do about him. You know, Benjamin, he's just so sweet, and he plays the guitar, like, how am I supposed to turn that down? But your muscles are nice, and, you know, some people can just fuck a lot harder than other people, and, you know, when you have someone's raw fucking cock inside of your asshole, and it stretches you up three times your normal size, and so that's why the purity harp has has the power to defeat the chaos, actually. <laughs> it's love. To save all worlds, we must find the eight pure hearts that form the purity heart. 
And that is all I have to say on the matter. Were you listening carefully? Yeah, I think I got most of the details. Excellent! I did tell the short version, so I wasn't sure if you would fully understand. It is up to you to find the pure hearts, for they are our last and only hope. Actually, I would really love it if you could tell me the long version, because you really skipped out on a lot of the tea I was here for. I'm here for the lore of your dating life. I kind of thrive on dating stories, so please do not withhold from me. Go forth, hero, and save the worlds. We're all depending on you. All right, I guess we're not getting any more out of her. All right, but did we do it? Did we get a pure heart? <laughs> Look at Thoro dancing. That's kind of funny. Yeah, sure enough, we did actually. You got a pure heart. Fantastic. And it's the end of the chapter. Before disappearing, Merlumina had entrusted Mario to save every world. She had waited 1,500 years to deliver the message to the legendary hero. With the second pure heart in hand, Mario was in great spirits. But six pure hearts still remained to be found, and the journey had only just begun. With a flutter, Tippy said, I think we'd better return to Flipside. The weight of every world's fate once again rested on Mario's shoulders. Do you want to save your game progress? Yeah, sure enough. All right, cool, and I think we are up on time, so that'll do it for today. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and sticking on this journey with me. Um, and I guess we will cut it right here, and I will see you all in the next one. Toodles!